What is up guys, Karma Medic here and welcome back to another dose. So today on the channel I want to talk to you about my favorite iPad apps that I use for medical school. Ever since I've gotten the iPad I've used it for absolutely everything for lectures, workshops, tutorials, studying for my exams, etc. It's completely replaced pen and paper for me. If you're new here or you don't know who I am, my name is Nasser. I'm a second year medical student studying in London and if you want to follow me on my journey do consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. Alright, so let's jump straight into the apps. So generally on my iPad I try and keep it as productivity focused as possible. I try and keep all the apps that I would need to use for medical school on one page so that they're within quick reach and quick access and between the doc and this one page here it sums up about everything I need for medical school. The first app that I want to talk about is called C3D for Anatomy I think. Um, it's this app over here it's by a company called 3D for Medical and it's just basically a fantastic anatomy learning app. The way that it works is that along the bottom row over here, you can see it has all the different body systems. And let's just say I wanna add the digestive system for now. So I click plus there, you can see all the different organs. If maybe the greater omentum is in my way, I can remove it. I can even remove different parts of the large colon to look at the structures that lie behind that. It has all the details and it's a perfect way to visualize the 3D things that you see in the lecture or on your handouts. Now, another great thing about this app is that it adds the information on in layers. Let's say I wanna look at the arteries of the body. I go to the arteries and I click plus, And the first thing that it shows me is the main arteries, the most important ones in the body. As I continue to click on the plus sign, it gives me more detail and more complexity. So I'm not overwhelmed at any one time. Of course you can click on any of these structures and it'll give you a bunch of information about what it is, what it attaches to, what surrounds it, etc, etc. And my last favorite thing about this app has to be the muscle visualization. So you can add all the muscles that you want to this app. For example, last week we were looking at the hip and thigh region for anatomy. So we were learning about different hip flexors. Let's take the iliacus for example. I can click on it and then over here on the left under motion, it shows you animations of how the muscle works in order to give you that function. So this over here is hip flexion by the iliacus. I would recommend it to any medical student. It's not free, but the app is so highly polished and brings so much value to my learning that I think it's worth every penny. Now, moving on to the next app that I wanna show you, it's called Geeky Medics. It's a very popular app here in the UK for medical students. And it's basically like a information center for all things OSCE related for medical students. And it breaks everything down into really nice categories. So for example, for my OSCEs this year, as a second year medical student, I know that I'm gonna to have to perform your analysis. So if I click on clinical procedures here and I scroll down to your analysis, it gives you first and foremost at the top this YouTube video, which you can load and watch the full procedure done in OSCE style in exam form that you know what it is that you eventually need to look like when doing the procedure. And then if you scroll down, it gives you just the information that you need to pass through the OSCE. And if you go to the website, they also have mark schemes. So me and my friends are actually using this app now every single week to practice different OSCE stations that we can learn and perform better for the exam. You might have seen a post about that on my Instagram if you follow me there. If you wanna follow me on Instagram and you don't already, you can do so at Karma Medic. So like I was saying, this is a perfect app for learning your different OSCE examinations. They have cardio, respiratory, etc etc everything that you would need to know the third app that I want to talk about is called Quizlet which is a flashcard app that I'm sure you've all heard of when I first started using flashcards not too long ago I first looked at Anki but I found that the interface was way too bland and it just didn't make it a good flashcard experience for me but when I looked at Quizlet and I saw their interface it really changed my idea about flashcards so as you can see here I have a number of different decks for the different topics I was studying for progress test 2 and progress test 1 for example, this drugs deck is full of all the drugs that were mentioned in my lectures for progress test two. Let's see if I remember any of these. So salmeterol is a long acting bronchodil bronchodilator. Awesome. Uh, Ipratropium is also for asthma. I wanna say it's a calcium, no, not calcium channel. It is a uh, acetylcholine agonist, antagonist? Acetylcholine antagonist, I believe. Anti-muscarinic, okay, great. Good, so it seems that I'm remembering some of these flashcards, that's good. Anyway, you can take a look at these other decks that I've made, for example, for cardiovascular disease. Once I find that I've understood a lecture quite well, I'll come into this flashcards app and make flashcards for those details that I just have to memorize, things that I'm having difficulty remembering. And it's just a great way to test my memory when I'm in the tube, when I'm on the bus, or even at home studying. If you're someone who doesn't use flashcards like I was up until about two months ago, I would highly, highly recommend them. They're so, so, so useful and add an extra level of good 
studying to your routine. Now the next app is going to be a quick one. This is Notability, which is my preferred app for taking all of my notes for lectures. It is an absolute godsend for organization. As you can see here on the left, I have all the greater topics or modules that we're covering throughout the year. Let's say for supporting life, we had a look at cardiovascular disease and these are all the lectures on the right for each one of those topics. And within each one, I have my notes and then underneath them, my sort of condensed notes on what I think is most important. What we're currently covering right now is inflammation and immunology. So these are the lectures I was looking at today. For example, lecture one, here are all of the lecture slides and I'll make a handwritten document called important stuff in which I'll write down pretty much what I think is most important from that lecture. And of course I have a color code in my head for what different colors mean. You can also copy paste different lecture slides and then you can write on top of them. And it just makes for a very good studying and note taking experience. If you guys want me to make a more in-depth video about how I use Notability to take care of all of my lecture notes and organize all the studying that I do, do leave a comment down below. Now the fifth app is something that's come very handy since I've moved towards this paperless or more digital style of taking notes at school. It's called Scannable. It's a very simple app that simply scans a paper that you have. It's very useful in my tutorials and workshops when I'm given handouts that I don't want to write on with a normal pen and pencil and I just want to scan them and be able to import them into Notability so I can write on it with my iPad. But overall it's just a really useful app to continue to be digital and paperless. And the last app that I want to touch on is my e-reader for textbooks and it's called Inkling. So here I have saved my Netter's Anatomy flashcards that I was using to study in a previous vlog that I did. If you guys haven't seen that video, check it out somewhere over here. So this electronic version of the app is really useful because it sort of grays out all the structures that you don't need to look at. So I also have this downloaded on my phone and so I can study anatomy on the go. I also have here the Essentials of Clinical Medicine by Kumar and Clark. This is a perfect accompanying handbook to the lectures that I study. It sort of gives me more clinical based information and any extra detail that my lecturer might have missed out. Okay, now the next app that I want to look at is BMJ's Best Medical Practice. This is just a fantastic app for quickly looking up information about any disease you can think of. So let's say we search for cystic fibrosis. So yeah, there we go, cystic fibrosis, and it'll give me all the possible information I could want, history and exam, investigations, key diagnostic factors, everything. It's a very, very useful app. All right, guys, and I think that's it for all the apps that I wanna cover in this video. I hope you guys have seen a couple that you might wanna use for your studying while in medical school. If you guys have found this video useful, please do leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more videos from me. You can follow me on Instagram if that's something that you're into as well. And that's it for me. I hope you found this video useful, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.